The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts of what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Good evening, viewers. I want to welcome you to another wonderful episode of this program, uh, your program tomorrow. What a day to be alive. We thank God for his mercies and his goodness. You know, we're in the midst of a lot of dysfunction, but then God's faithfulness has a way of preserving us, of shielding us from evil and harm and danger. And I know that um, his faithfulness will long enjoy. Uh, there will be no cause for alarm, no agitation in our habitations in the name of Jesus. It shall be the peace of Jehovah ruling and reigning over our lives and over our land in Jesus' mighty name. Today I want to share briefly a one of titled Be Different. What does it mean to be different? To be the exception. Not to join others to do what they are doing. To stand in a place of uniqueness. To stand uh, in a place of, of, of uh, difference, so to speak. You know, So just choose to be different. Now, why must you choose to be different? Choose to be different because of who you are. Because of who you are. Guess who you are? You are the one. If you are a born-again Christian, if you are a child of a living God, you've accepted Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, you are blood-bought, you are blood-washed, you are blood-sealed, you are blood-perfected. Listen, the blood of the Lamb of God that was shed on the cross is the price that, that, that you carry. That determines your worth and your value. So you are blood-bought, you are blood-washed, you are blood-sealed, your life is sealed, and you are blood-perfected. You know, that's who you are, that's your identity. And guess what? You are a product of the grace of God. Your life is defined by the covenant of glory. That's who you are. So you can't afford to be like others. Let, let's read something from the Bible. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 14 to 18. I'm talking about be different. Now, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? So whereas he who is blood bought, blood washed, blood sealed, blood perfected is called the righteousness of God, he who is not is referred to as the unrighteousness or the unrighteous one. So we are not the same. And don't you ever think in your heart that you are the same with other with that other person. So don't judge your life and, and define your life based on that other person's viewpoint. No, there is no basis for that comparison because ab initio we are different. Let me read further. 15, and what concord had Christ with Belial? So Christ Jesus and the devil or demons cannot stand on the same ground. One is superior to the other. Christ is superior to demons. All things were made by him and for him, including demons. Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of a living God. That's who we are. We are the temple of a living God because we are the carriers of the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God lives in our spirits. We are different. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Who are we? God's people. Jehovah's people. So we are different. 17. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, seer the Lord. Or be ye different, seer the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and you will be a father unto me, and, I shall, and you shall be my sons and daughters, seer the Lord Almighty. So be different. Listen, we are the righteousness of God. We are the blood bought, the blood washed ones. We are those whose lives are products of grace. We are those who stand in agreement with God. We are those whose makeup is essentially that of the spirit of the living God. We are different from them. In other words, don't be afraid of what the unsaved are afraid of. Don't nurse their fears. Don't think you are the next person to be kidnapped. Don't think you are the next person to be run under. No, 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 no. Leverage on the covenant and be who God has said you are. Walk with him by faith and remain different. Join us tomorrow. We shall expect you. Till then, remain blessed. We believe you have been blessed. Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vine Brand Church, Queen School Road, Apata Giari, for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.